Whoa! That's a big wasp. Colin wouldn't like that. Yorkshire popped up. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video, as you've seen by the title, is all about my sliding door card uh, storage compartment and uh, how I put it together. But it didn't actually start out like that. I originally uh, had an issue with the door mechanism on my sliding door and what I did is I took the door card off to uh, sort of investigate the issue and it was after I took the door card off that I came across the quality of the uh, Camper Conversion Company's uh, work. Now, at the start of the video, I do go off uh, at a bit of a tangent and I go on about um, how I've added uh, additional sound deadening. <laughs> You'll see why I'm giggling. Um, and additional uh, insulation as well. Because uh, as I took, already took the door card off and I found what I found, um, I decided I needed to um, just do a little bit of pre-work before I started the uh, design and build of the uh, storage area behind the door card. So uh, that's how the video pans out. And they were supposed to sound, didn't it, as well, but I'm not so sure there is any on the door. No, there's no sound, didn't it? Uh, there is in other areas of the van up here um, but down in the door there's nothing so I could put some sound deadening in there as well so that'll be another extra little job done right so I've took all the insulation out and uh, I think I've done the conversion company a little bit of an injustice by saying they've not put any sound deadening in deadening in um, there's a piece there look that's the door and that's the bit they've put in. I do apologise, but I will be adding my own. So I'm probably going to stick some up there, cover these sections, and also down there. Uh, and I might also get some of the um, foam backed um, foam <laughs> insulation that I can stick over the top of the sound ending, and then the uh, and then this stuff. The uh, recycled bottles can then go in and around. Right, for quite some time now, and I'm talking weeks, this door has been annoying me. Because every time I shut the door, it makes a noise. Every time I did that, it did that. And I couldn't work out what it was. I've been looking around all the hinges and the rollers and, and everywhere. Anyway, recently I've taken this panel off um, to do something with the insulation and the sound deadening. And I just happened to put my hand down the back of here. And I found this. It's just a, well, I don't know what it is. It's a seal of some kind. So then I tried to put my hand down there. And after much scrape it of the hand and all that whoops i found those which i've just thrown on the floor pipe fittings in a little plastic bag that's what was making my jingly rattling noise so that is a result right that's my first ever piece of sound deadening installed. Um, I bought this roller. Uh, there are cheaper ones you can get, but I thought I'd go for the quality one. Um, it's got a knurled roller on it. And these uh, dodo mat sheets, you can see there, they've got like a raised pattern to it. And when you roll it, you might not be able to see it very well, but when you roll it 
into place it flattens these bobbles down so you can see exactly where you've done and it's definitely stuck then to the uh, metalwork of the door so that's the first piece in position probably going to put another one there and then i've got just there there and a bit down there whoa that's a big wasp colin wouldn't like that Yorkshire she popped up I've never used this stuff before, but it's really easy to work with. It's very easy to cut, just with scissors. And once you've uh, cut your pieces to size, as long as you take the backing off bit by bit, it uh, goes on really easy because it is really sticky stuff once you take the backing off. See that, it cuts out really easy. And then, uh, you just peel the back off just do it bit by bit start start at the top and then just roll the backing off and uh, works well go underneath and just grab the paper to back in like that just peel it and as i'm peeling it off just gently push it to the wall of the van of the door like that. and then i'll go over it with the roller position and then it's just a case of using the roller that's all the sound deadening <laughs> i always struggle to say that that's now the sound deadening complete uh, it's as good as i'm going to get it it's made a lot of difference now the door is more of a dull thud than a light ting is good so now i've got some adhesive foam about this sort of thickness which is then going to go on top of there and then we've got the uh, recycled bottle insulation to go in there as well and then i can think about the storage cutouts on the door card Right, so that's the first piece of the dodo foam mat. Very sticky, but uh, quite quite easy to put on. Just take your time, think about where you're going to put it. So that's the first piece on. I'll do in these areas here now, and then I'll move down to the other sections. There we go. That's all. Obviously there's little bits there, but I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to be putting recycled bottle insulation in there as well. This is just another added layer. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever worked with the fiberglass loft insulation before, but it is a nightmare, really itchy to touch. But this stuff is just amazing. It's no, no reaction to it at all, no itching. It's just really good. So I've just uh, sort of torn off a small piece a narrower piece and I'm basically just gonna ease it in to here as best I can without uh, compressing it too much like I 
say I'm not going to go too far down there as long as it's in and that needs to go quite a way that'll probably disappear actually that piece feel yeah that's all right so I'm just going to put it in like that and then just work some more down that bit there again just a little piece just stuff it now you don't want to be compacting this stuff too tight you want to try and keep it as fluffy as you can obviously because it traps the air I'm just doing it like that and I'll just build it up slowly they need to go under there somehow uh, probably going from that side can you see where I am there yeah probably going through there I might probably push them down there as well right that's about as far as I'm gonna go now Um I'm not gonna be putting any storage in this bottom section because it's just not worth it the the area is just not deep enough for a for the amount of effort to create the the pocket in the door card there's not going to be much uh, storage so I think I'm just going to limit it to this section here which is quite big and the uh, the other section up here I'll put a storage pocket uh, there as well in the door card so uh, all these areas down the side and round here uh, they've all got insulation pushed in there's all that insulation down the bottom so uh, that's that's going to be it for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a sort of framework to fit in there to give me an idea of uh, the size of the pocket and whereabouts on the back of the door card it's going to fit because that's going to be quite tricky just working out exactly where to position it. So that's going to take me a bit of time so uh, I'll crack on with that and then I'll bring you back. Right, okay, so this is where we're up to. Uh, I've created the hole in the door card, as you saw in the previous clips and photos. I've just temporarily, just there, there, and there, just attached it to the door, because I now want to see, I've also got this bit of bungee here. I hope you can see in there, you can see the side side panel there I've created a I've made a piece to, to drop in the bottom because um, I want it to be I mean I could have done it completely all fixed but I want to be able to sort of dismantle it easily but it's still to be functional and not move around and I'm hoping the system I'm going to be using will work but what I need to do is if we look up there difficult to tell but I need to put a back piece in there in carpet that'll fit in snug but it also needs to come up and touch the back of here so I've just put it in position just so that I can see where I need to and what size of 
sort of piece I need to make to fit in there and hold in. I just want to give a little shout out to myself really. I'm really pleased about this little hook that I've made for this solar light because it means I've got a light there for when the it's in bed mode and I can tilt that to whatever but it's also really easy to just grab and I can then use it to uh, use as a torch so yeah really handy that and it's uh, solar powered as well which is great <laughs> I've kind of been making this up as I've been going along so I made this piece before I cut the hole and I've just come to put it in and it's just a little bit too long I can't get it in it, no matter how I, try, I can't get that in oh hang on oh, hang on hang on well, hang on a minute oh it's in oh look at that look at that Oh, perfect. And what I did is I don't, I'm not going to be able to I'm put the torch in there. What I did is I managed to push it behind there. And it's gone in. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's. <laughs> I'm so pleased about that. That saved me a lot of time. But you can see that's just sat in there like that. Put the torch on. That's just sat in there. And you would never know it's not fixed. And it's not going anywhere. And that's just sat on the foam insulation that's on the uh, framework and it's right down to the bottom there can you see inside there you can see it's right inside there oh I'm really pleased with that so now I just need to create a piece that's going to go on the back of there sit behind that so this will hold that into position and then I just need to create some kind of overlapping piece, you can see there, that comes up and over to the back of here, if you can understand that. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Can you tell I'm really pleased with that? There's my bungee. Right, onward. So I've seen a couple of videos where people are making their own uh, door card storage bins and um, the ones I've seen have used uh, wood, plywood to make the actual pocket behind the door card which is great, the, it, they're absolutely perfect they're sturdy, uh, they're completely contained but the only thing um, that was my concern was the, the added weight I know it's not a great deal of added weight but anything you add is added weight so using the plywood um, I wanted to try and keep away from that so I've used this sort of foam board it's only really thin stuff as you can see uh, it's really lightweight uh, and once it's covered in carpet uh, it just works really well and I've used it a lot uh, in my van so far for like uh, panels that are concealing various different things it's just lightweight easy to work with it's great for carpeting and it just just works for me so that's what I'm using uh, for the sort of back section of my uh, storage area behind the uh, behind the door card so that's what I'm doing now I've uh, cut this to size um, I've thrown my scissors on the floor so I'll be picking them up shortly and uh, we'll get this covered in carpet and then we'll uh, fit it in the uh, door card right so that's my piece of foam board carpeted and you can see let's get the light on it you can see there I've already got one in so and that will I'm put, let's put, pull that, in there. that will move that way so I can put the next one in slide it in that way and they should butt up in the middle there now I know for some people they're not going to like this method um, the fact there's going to be a join there uh, the fact that these all these pieces are loose even though 
they're not going to be loose when they're all in position. Um, but it works for me and I know it's very lightweight but it's uh, serving a purpose. So uh, right let's get this other one in and see how it looks. Right be honest you can't really see the join. You can if you look closely. Just there. Can you see it? You can just about see it just there but when you've got stuff in there you're never going to know. So to me that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy about is that little bit oh get the torch right that little bit there can you see it just a little tiny hole there that's going to annoy me but nobody else is going to see it so uh, I might have to stuff a bit of carpet down there right I'm happy with that I think we're done and to coin a spectacles advert line I like it so the back piece is in the bottom piece is in with additional vent holes <clears throat> and the pieces are up at the top and because they're so snugly fit they every piece even though it's loose and not fixed every piece pushes into place securing the piece that it's secured against so everything is held together just by the uh, friction caused by the carpet so I think I need to try something in there now see how it fits so I just grab the first two things that were to hand this is my little sort of case that I keep all my uh, tripod attachments microphone uh, little tripods and just go in there like that the bungee cord holds it there and I've got my gimbal in there see that goes in nice and easy it pushes that way a little bit so I've still got a little gap there um, I could use those uh, packing cubes the smaller ones to stuff things in there anything you want really but I am really pleased with that now the intention is to create another one there now I'm not gonna lie that was hard work not so much hard work but time consume time consuming just took me time and uh, made sure I got all the measurements right and uh, I'll be honest I winged it <laughs> I made it up as I went along but it's all come together in the end and I'm really pleased with it so for now I think because I need a rest is I'm gonna put all these screws in so it's all fixed I'm just going to enjoy using that and then once I'm happy with it I'll then move on to this one at a later stage but yeah that's how I created my sliding door card pocket storage unit area so I hope you enjoyed that one if you did please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel then please do consider subscribing because it really does help the channel and I really would appreciate it doesn't cost you anything just click that subscribe button click the thumbs up and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video okay well thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one